Good morning, everyone. Do you still remember what was our lesson last week? The last lesson was, was about the two dimensional shapes. Do you still remember what's the meaning of two dimensional shapes? I will remind you. The two dimensional shapes are flat and they may be closed or they might be uh, open. Okay, let us remember what we learned last time. Last time we learned the triangle with, uh, which has three sides. In this way, we know the number of sides and we have three vertices. Okay, and it's closed by the way, okay? This is the triangle. Also, we learned the square, which has four sides and four vertices. Okay, this is the, the, the second shape of two dimensional shapes the third one was the rectangle it has also like the squares four sides and four vertices okay then the last one we learned was a trapezoid it was short and the other one is long and these two sides were similar in length Okay, now I have how many sides? One, two, three, and four sides. So I'll, I have four vertices. Here we go. Great job. Now, so we learned four last week. Today we will learn the fifth one, which is the circle. We will learn circles. What about circles? The circles also wear two-dimensional shapes. Okay, and it is one of the equal shares also. Now I want you to open all page 647. Open page 647 and start doing what I will tell you now. The fish blow bubbles as you can see in the picture. Finish drawing the bubbles. The fish blew. I'm going to draw it. Okay, let's draw more. I'm going to draw more if I want. I w if, even if I fill the whole picture with bubbles, I will see what I'm going to see now. I'm going to what, what I'm going to learn now. Finish drawing the bubbles, the fish are blue. Then use circle attribute blocks to trace and draw four more bubbles. Describe the shapes. Write how many sides and vertices. Okay. Can I cross any side? Look at the circles now. And by the way, I'll tell you a secret from the beginning. The secret I want you to pay attention. Look at the circle. It's similar to zero, number zero. Right. Right. Look at number zero here. It's a zero. Okay. Now, again, look at the circle and tell me how many sides do you see? Oh, I have no sides. Look at the other shapes again. Look at it up, up. See, triangles are three. Uh, look at the sides. I crossed them as we, as we said before. We had a deal to cross the side, but here in the circle, there's no sides. So there's no sides to cross, so it's zero sides. Let's see how many vertices. Mm, vertices, I told you that it's like a corner or the place where two sides are met, right? Uh, or are meeting. Okay, so let's see how many vertices do we have here? Uh oh, I have no vertices in the circle, so also the circle has zero vertices. See, I told you number zero is a circle. So always the zero will follow the circle. Zero sides and zero vertices. Here we go. Go to page 648 now. Okay. 
what which the which page 648 please follow me and underline again as we deal before okay circles are two dimensional shapes so this is the circle and they are two dimensional shapes they are closed and round they do not have sides and vertices so look at this circle how many sides do you have in this circle okay no lines no sides no straight lines in the circle so there is no side so it's zero sides great job boys and girls excellent guys now how many vertices there's no corner it's all around and i can't find any corner no vertex at all so it's zero vertices see number zero is still following the circle it's gonna run over the circle run after it, after it run after it every time so we'll see now write how many sides and vertices mm -hmm. this is a circle how many sides do you have in this circle it has just see how many sides do you have any straight line again no it's zero great job do you have any vertices no vertices no corners no any vertex so it's zero the second question which is small circle green small circle let's see how many sides zero side still the zero is following the circle and zero vertices it's not gonna leave it let's see the circle now this is not a circle it's like a globe i guess yes so uh look at it it's also a round shape how many sides no sides no straight lines so it's zero sides how many vertices or how many corners nothing so it's zero again look at this red button look at it how many sides do you have in this one i have nothing so it's zero sides and zero vertices as we said before now we're done with this page you can find any object that is round and show it to your mommy guys your mommy will be so proud of you if you got it quickly now we're done with this page let's go to the second page don't forget to put for yourself a very big star here we go now we're done with this page go to page 648 then i will just read quickly the questions for you the first question is write how many sides and vertices then Question number two, circle the objects that match the first shape. Question number 10, which is the last one, circle the closed shapes. Okay, this was page 649. Please solve it alone and don't forget, send it to me. I need to see your special work, your amazing work. I'm waiting for that. We're done with page 649. Then. I want you now to go page 650. I will solve with you question number 11. Here we go. Yeah. Now, I am a closed two-dimensional shape that has no sides or vertices. Write the name of the shape, then draw a picture of the shape. So I am a closed two-dimensional shape, okay? That has no sides and no vertices or, okay. Write the name of the shape and then draw a picture of the shape. Let's think. I learned five types of two-dimensional shapes or five shapes that are belongs to two-dimensional two shapes okay the first one triangle was three sides three vertices square four sides and four vertices 
um, rectangle like squares for sides and four vertices. Last one was trapezoid. It was four sides and four vertices. The last shape we learned today was a circle. No means nothing. This is my circle. I know you will draw better than this circle. I know that. Now, so look at this circle now. It has no sides and no vertices. Which shape has no sides and no vertices? It is a circle. So, right circle. Okay. Don't forget, no means zero. As I told you, uh, zero is following the circle as zero sides and zero vertices. So today we're done, put a small start here and you can continue this page alone and show me your amazing work. Send it to me, don't forget that. See you later. Thank you for watching and following.